And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. Well, we have some snow on the way for tonight. A fresh blanket of white for the final day of 2016 tomorrow. It's going to be a windy New Year's Eve on your Saturday and looks pretty cold as we head into New Year's Eve night if you're making plans to head out and about to celebrate the new year. But a quiet beginning to 2017 on Sunday. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures will be pretty pleasant as well. But we do have a storm system for the beginning of next week that will bring a mixture of rain and snow to the area. Current conditions in northeast Wisconsin. In Green Bay, it's 25 degrees right now. We have a south-southeast breeze at, eight, at 6 miles per hour, and that's making a wind chill of 18 degrees. In Appleton, currently sitting at 23 right now. The breezes are fairly light, but enough of a breeze out there to put wind chills down into the teens for much of the area. We are starting to see some of that snow working on in on Storm Shield radar. Just some very light snow showers, but they'll pick up an intensity of the snow as we head deeper into the evening and then through the overnight hours. But a lot of this will be out of here by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Just uh, some lingering flurries really in the morning hours. Here's a look at the clipper system. The snow continuing to develop across the northern half of Wisconsin. And uh, the highest amounts will be up to the north. That's where we do have that winter weather advisory. Door County, Oconto County, as well as Marinette County and Menominee County up in Michigan, all included in that winter weather advisory. That continues until about 3 a.m. tonight. Now, road conditions, they're going to be pretty good here over the next few hours, but they will gradually go downhill, especially later this evening. That's when we're going to see the heaviest snow, and that will continue through the late night. And then eventually, as we go through the morning hours tomorrow, road conditions should improve. But later tonight, once that snow gets going, it could come down at a pretty good clip. So that's going to reduce visibility and also slicken up those roads. So be careful if you're going to be heading out later tonight for this New Year's Eve. Eve. Temperatures are in the 20s right now, generally lower to middle 20s, but they're going to actually slowly rise with a south breeze as we go through the overnight hours. There's those winds out of the south generally, 5 to 10 miles per hour in most spots. Wind chills down into the teens for many areas. Feels like 15 in Oconto, 14 in Menominee, 6 degrees in Anago, and 18 degrees right now in Oshkosh. Skycast looking like this. We see the snow spreading across the area, some of it a little bit heavy at times. And then as we go through the late night hours into early tomorrow morning, a lot of the accumulating snow will move on out. But with mostly cloudy skies tomorrow morning, we could see a few lingering flurries and then skies turning partly cloudy and eventually clearing into tomorrow night. Now, snowfall forecast, one to three inches, Green Bay, Appleton, back towards Wausau and Anago. Highest amounts, again, up to the north where we have that uh, winter weather advisory, three to five inches possible there. Lowest amounts down to the south, places like Sheboygan for you folks in Fond du Lac, trace to about an inch of snow. Behind this clipper, this will move through overnight, and behind it we'll get a quick shot of colder air for tomorrow night if you're going to be heading out and about to celebrate 2017. Temperatures will fall down into the teens, and then Sunday looking like a quiet weather day overall for the area. Tomorrow night, downtown Green Bay, has U.S. Bank Eve going on. Fireworks are at 9 o'clock. The llama will go across the bridge at 845. It's going to be on the colder side. Temperatures will dip down into the teens after about 9, and wind chills will fall into the single digits. So bundle up if you're going to be heading out and about. Tonight, 24, snow likely. Cloudy skies then for tomorrow up to 33. Some lingering morning flurries. Otherwise very windy. Should mention that for tomorrow. Winds could be gusting over 30 miles per hour. And then Sunday, quiet weather. Monday and Tuesday, a rain-snow mix. Could get some snow accumulations from that, but it really doesn't look like much at this point. And then after that, a big blast of Arctic air to take us through the rest of the week for this first week of the new year. That's going to be really cold. Yeah, it looks, it looks to be the coldest yet we've had so far in the area, oh. so we'll have to brace for that.